Today we'll be checking out a very exciting company on the ASX. It is a lithium company called Lake Resources. The ticker is LKE. And today we're going to be performing a little fundamental overview and update of the company since we last took a look at it, as well as some technical analysis in order to make some predictions as to where we can expect to see Lake Resources go in the near future. Let's take a look. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another investing video. As I mentioned today, we are taking a look at Lake Resources. This is a company which has been requested by you guys for an update for quite some time now. So I thought I'd jump in and take another look. Lake Resources, in my opinion, is a very, very exciting company for a number of reasons. One, they have a fantastic resource, which we'll get more into later in the video. But secondly, they are utilizing DLE, or Direct Lithium Extraction Technology, which is an environmentally friendly way in order to get lithium out of a brine resource. As a result, their overall strategy is to be a clean lithium developer, and through utilizing DLE, they will do so, as well as other methods. But Let's take a look now at what has been going on with Lake Resources and where they're currently sitting from a fundamental overview perspective. So to kick things off, let's take a little bit of a look at the financial overview of the company. At present, they are worth roughly about $900 million in market cap and price per share is sitting at roughly 64 cents. This is, I suppose, quite a significant difference from where they have been in the past. We'll look at the chart a bit later on, but they were worth well over a billion dollars in the past 12 months. Unfortunately, not at that point, but many lithium companies have of course taken a little bit of a hit, particularly in the past six to 12 month period. So it's really not surprising that we are seeing that. We also tend to see a reduction in value in the development stage of a company as well, given the fact that of course, not too much is happening for quite some time. The hype always builds up on exploration, then dies down during development, then tends to ramp back up during the production phase when a company is starting to bring in money. And speaking about money, right now they're sitting at roughly $113 million in cash reserves based on their latest quarterly results. This has come down about 20 odd million dollars from the previous quarter and it's all being spent on exploration and development activities. This is a relatively consistent number. We're seeing about 20 to 30 million dollars burned per quarter, which in the scheme of things and when we look at other lithium companies as well, is actually quite a large amount. But of course, $113 million cash on hand means that they certainly do have a very big sum of money sitting there. And we're not gonna be seeing a raise or anything like that in my opinion in the near future as a result of this. Let's talk a bit now about their key projects. So Lake Resources key project is the Cachi project. This is located in Argentina and it is within the famous Lithium Triangle. And for those of you who don't know, the Lithium Triangle is the space within the world located in South America with the vast majority of lithium is currently produced. And of course, we're seeing regular discoveries at relatively high grades on a regular basis. So from a location perspective, this is absolutely prime. Now, what they're doing is aiming for a definitive feasibility study to be released in mid-2023. So that's coming up quite soon, which is exciting, and I expect a bit of momentum is going to build. Now, from the definitive feasibility perspective, what they're aiming for is 50,000 tonnes per annum of LCE, lithium carbonate equivalent, using their DLE technology. Now their DLE technology is provided by a company called Lilac, who have recently, after some positive results, increased their ownership of this company 
from 10% up to 20%. So it's a buy-in type arrangement, which shows that they are confident that Lake Resources is going to be successful in their DFS and of course, move from the exploration phase into development and start producing down the track. At this point in time, they have a pilot plant which is currently generating 99.8% purity of lithium carbonate. This is incredibly important when we're talking about lithium because 98.8% is battery grade lithium. Battery grade lithium is important. It is premium. It costs a lot more for people to buy it. And of course, that means the margins for a company like Lake Resources are going to be significantly higher. This is the key reason why Lilac have now put more money into this company. As a result, we are hopefully going to see some very, very positive results coming out from the DFS, particularly given the fact that we have seen over 2,000 hours operated of this plant so far producing consistently very, very high grades of lithium carbonate. That's all I'm going to cover now from an operational development and exploration perspective. I hope it's wet your taste buds a bit and encourages you to do a bit more research into the company itself. But now what we're going to do is move into the technical analysis side of things where we're going to take a look at the chart and try and make some predictions using technical analysis in order to determine where Lake Resources is going to move from a price perspective in the future. Let's take a look. Welcome into the Lake Resources chart, guys. As you can see, as I mentioned previously, we're sitting at just about 64 cents per share at this point in time. And we are looking like we're bouncing off a low point. So there's been a double bottom out just down here at the bottom. I'll zoom back in for you so you can take a good look at that. We've had a double bottom and a nice bounce upwards. Now, if we do start to zoom out a bit more, you can see this is a point where we have had price action in the past. It's acted as a major point of resistance for us historically and is now acting as a point of support. So of course, that is very good news. But fundamentally, there are a few things I wanna put on your radar right now. First and foremost, we've broken out from a little bit of a downtrend. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna put the line in place briefly right there, start to move it up a bit more all the way to just over here. And what you'll see is we had a false breakout as we know back there, but we are now seeing a breakout of this overall downtrend actually occur. And that point at which we need to break throughout the time, it was on the 12th of May, sitting at roughly about 61 cents. And we've had three days consistently where we have closed above that point. Now, finally, another lovely green candle. And as we do start to zoom in a bit more, what you'll notice is that blue 20 day moving average is about to cross the red 50 day moving average. Now, what that means for us is a reversal in the short term trend. That means price action ultimately should start to ramp up. We should start to see some good green spikes occur in the volume side of things. And the goal realistically would be to probably move up towards this 200 day moving average sitting at about roughly 84 and a half cents at this point in time. So what I'm gonna do is straight away put another line in place just there so you can see that point. That is going to be our short term goal. Really, really good stuff from that perspective of course and a very achievable goal in the near future given that we are seeing a reversal in the overall lithium market temporarily at least as well of course as some major announcements from the lilac funding and the quarterly results that are showing progress is being made on this company what else can we take a look at well let's have a look at the relative strength index the RSI right now is showing us we did hit an overbought mark when we did break out of that downtrend. So that was at a maximum of 74.12. We need to get back below that 70 mark, which we certainly did. Right now we're sitting at 69.06. So in my opinion, we are still too high. We need to see a bit more of a move downwards. So I wouldn't be shocked to see some sideways action occurring a bit like this 
over the next couple of weeks. If we are lucky though, a big spike in volume and a bit of FOMO might actually push us upwards, but that would push us back into the overbought range, meaning that we would likely see a quick, sharp decrease in the value of the share price. Let's have a look now at the MACD, one of my favorite indicators. And you can see we had a rejection back here when we bounced off those lows, which were just over here on the 27th of April, when that second double bottom occurred. Really, really positive, showing strength in the stock, actually starting to come into play. A decent green period that we have seen here. And we can see that that 12 day and 26 day EMAs are moving parallel in an upwards direction. Hopefully we continue to see that. And what I'm hoping for is when we do start to see this possibly taper off a little bit, given that we are in the overbought range almost, we do see another rejection similar to what we saw over here. So we can move up and of course test this key point of resistance at the 84 and a half cent mark where our 200 day moving average is. So overall, I think in my opinion, this seems relatively clear cut at this point in time from an overall perspective. If we do zoom in a little bit more from a pattern perspective, we can see what appears to be a flag pattern putting itself into play. Over here, we've got the flag pole. We do of course have the actual flag itself as well. And it's looking like this is a bit more of a pennant type shape at this point in time. I'll just move that one back up there and you can see we are moving a bit like that. This indicates that we are going to see a break up or a breakdown in the next few days. Realistically, this will determine the overall price trajectory once we do move out of this point. So if we broke down, I hope it doesn't happen, but it is possible that we do move back below this overall trend line moving downwards here that we just broken out of. Key point of support would be that 20 and 50 day moving average mark. But ideally we're seeing a breakout, hopefully a move sideways and upwards in the short to medium term to try and test a target of 84 and a half cents. That wraps up today's analysis of Lake Resources, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the company down in the comment section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.